night, guys. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alain. It's been a pleasure to have you back. Hey, how are you doing today? Thank you. A pleasure is mine, teacher. I am pretty good, but a little tired. I, I have been working so much today. All I right. have a very large afternoon. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. my God. I'm Speaking so sorry computers. to hear that. But I am here trying to learn Yay. some new. That's the spirit, ma'am. That's yeah. the spirit. Yeah, I yeah. know that. Me too. I don't yeah. know what happened, but um, suddenly around 4 p.m., I feel like so tired, but so tired. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it's the weather. Here it's raining right now. Really? Yeah. It, it, I it's hear raining night. Right now, no, to be honest with you, in my uh, house, hasn't rained the whole day, but maybe later on. Maybe oh. later on, uh, yeah. But right now, no, it's not raining, but has been cold. Yes. Because uh, I, I, yeah. I, I was here wearing my raining. pants <laughs> the whole <laughs> Yeah. yeah here, here is raining. So yeah, I can, I can hear that. Yeah. Where do you live, by the way? I live in Metapan, Metapan City. Metapan City. Oh, okay. And is it Did hot you know there? Metapan? Yeah, oh, yeah I, really hot. I passed through, but I was like, oh my when God. When you go to Esquipula, you pass through Metapan. Yes, definitely. Uh, but it was a long time ago. I can, long time ago. Yeah, the last time that I went to Esquipula, I think it was more than 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Oh my God. Yes, I remember yeah. that I went there. You need and, vacation, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I need them. <laughs> and I was, you know what, I was planning to go on vacation with my, um, with my husband, right, and my pets. Oh, really? Where? Yeah, to Costa Rica. Oh, I like yeah. Costa Rica. Yeah, Pura Vida. to visit, yeah, Pura Vida, to visit yeah. my, my sister, who actually, she lives there. Your um, sister lives in Costa Rica. Yeah, my sister lives in Costa Rica around, I think she's going to have around six to seven years there. But um, okay. we were planning that because this year we uh, have our 14th anniversary. And uh, I was already scheduled my vacation. <laughs> but uh, right now, due to the quarantine, we had to like stop that right now, right? And uh, okay. the money that we have saved uh, for vacation, we had to use it. We yeah, have to, we need to save yeah. a lot of money to, to yeah. go to vacation. Y yeah. But you have annual vacation, 15 vacation? Yeah, uh, annual vacation, year. annual vacation, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, you it, choose it, when? Yeah, I do. And actually, I, I, yeah, I was planning on on August because oh. my niece said, Hey, auntie, well, I am going to have vacation. Everybody will be on vacation. So even though you're- uh, Yeah, maybe you can take six, of, yeah. six, six days and 15 days more, right? Uh, no, it will be 15 days in total. Oh. Mm-hmm. And, and it has to the be vacation consequently. The six day of yeah. the Salvador party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so basically, uh, I was planning, no, the first week of August. No, 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 no. no. It was, um, I think, it be, uh, will be the second or the third week of August. Uh, but we couldn't, right? Oh, Due to okay. the quarantine. So hopefully uh, we can do it next year. All depends on the situation, how it goes. Yeah. If it's improving or not, because I do not see any improvement yet. <laughs> so we think we got to wait. It's, yeah, it's, I have to cancel my travel too in December. Your trip? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a trip. Oh yeah, your trip to yeah, the. I yeah. have to cancel my trip because of the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, of course, we have to. It's much better, right? It's much it's better. Much, it's much, it's much better next year. Maybe we don't know when next year, but uh, hopefully. Yeah. And if not, we can have vacation internally, but once the government gives a uh, permission. If not, now. Oh not. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I was planning also to uh, bring my pets. And I had to go to the, uh, I don't know, there's a the vet store also to get a certification. Or, yeah. And then I need to go to like MAG so they can sign in. And after that, I need to bring it to the Costa Rica embassy here in El Salvador so they can yeah. check everything. It's okay, but I couldn't do it because everybody closed. Yeah, Costa Rica looks good. Yeah. Looks so good. 
It is a really good place and where really my sister place. lives. But right now we have Ita, right? And yeah. <laughs> we cannot, we cannot fly definitely. <laughs> but maybe in the future, maybe it will be yeah, a possibility. Yeah, that would be yeah. nice. Yeah, so well, never mind, right? Alain, we need to stay here. Yeah, yeah. But, we, but we need to stay safe, right? We need to be obedient. Yes, obedient. the best important thing is, is stay stay good, stay with health. It's yes. the most important thing at the moment. Yes, because that that uh, illness, you cannot imagine, is a horrible illness. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Right now, I really have a, a closer friend who is fighting right now with that illness because he got yeah, it. Yeah. He got sick, yeah. And Much it, people think it's a political thing, but no, it's I not. Don't think that so. it's that real. illness is real. It is yeah, real. real. And that yeah. that person, that my friend, is a little bit shabby. I think that's the reason why it's like um, giving so much trouble to him because he's he's younger and he doesn't have any um, special disease like diabetes or okay. uh, hypertension. No, he's not like that way. But you cannot imagine how hard it has been for him. Yeah, it's very hard for him, I guess. Yeah, right now he's like in day number 11, I think. So right now, until he gets on the 14th or the 15th, he will start to feel an improvement. But right now, he's not feeling well. Well, actually, he had to go to the hospital because of that. Oh, really? Because he was getting oh worse God. and worse and worse and worse. Especially yeah. the breath part. It was, oh, the in, breath part. Is, yeah. Instead of getting high, it was getting low. He got until 90% and that when you have 90%, you have to go to the hospital. So no way. Yeah. So yeah, that's no why. Way. Yeah. We it's are really safe at home. <laughs> yes, we do. We need to be yes. obedient. And when yeah. we go out for any reasons, we need to follow all the instructions. It's for our safe and for our family safe. Because it's not good at all. I hate that, but well. We have to we have to be obedient. We're if we're obedient, everything's going to be all right. Yeah, all, all will be all right. Yeah, definitely. All righty, guys, thank you. Uh, we have Patty. Okay, we were talking about a lot of things with Alain right now <laughs> well, while we're waiting, you guys. Uh, also, we have Carlitos here. Jose, great job. Hey, what happened with your background, Jose? Hello. Hi, what happened with your background with your like um, space jam uh, uh, black background, you know? <laughs> it's changed, yeah. You change it, yeah. I, I can see that, but it's really good actually. I like the color of the background, by the way. It's really good. Yeah, I, I think uh, about the, the, the clothes that I use, I think the background is, is better. It's much better. Yeah, very good. Uh, it's a the day. <laughs> I also have Maria uh, Helen Mercedes, which is actually working. She looks so serious right now. Okay, hi. <laughs> All righty. I have Noemi, and I have Patty. I have Adela, Carlitos, Anita Mercedes, and Mr. Ronald Umberto. I don't know if he's working, by the way. Hopefully, he's not. Because, uh, and if he's not showing us uh, his face, it's because he's working. Ronald, are you working right now? What happened with Ronald? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Are you working, sir? Yeah, but uh, now I am I am at home, but hey. I still working. Oh. To, to finish some work, but uh -huh. I want to stay at the at the class. So oh, that's I uh, you're so lovely and kind and hey, tell me something. But any chance are you wearing a suit at home? No, 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 no. I <laughs> know, <laughs> ah, ah, just wondering, you know. I'm <laughs> ah, just wondering. Egg, can you show us your image just a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Let me second. We want to see that mustache. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is not a regular Ronald that we used to <laughs> see. <laughs> hey, very good. Hey, what happened with the heart? I and lost my hurt. heart. Really? No kidding. Uh, you, uh, I teach you, but... Okay. But now I, I have another style, so... You have another style? It was your girlfriend's suggestion? No, it's, 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 it's my 
my own style so okay so you have like a professional style <laughs> mm, very interesting by the way you look like an actor an yeah. actor yeah like who uh, think about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah like a Pedro Infante. well i have i haven't said anything okay <laughs> and, 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 no, 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 I didn't say anything, no, no, but you know what, thinking about it, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's really interesting, you know what, I think um, Patti's going to take a picture of you. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you, Patti, like, hey, Patti's like, no, <laughs> she was uh, using her cell phone like this, she like, immediately like, Oop, take it off. <laughs> All righty, very good. <laughs> uh, I'm teasing you, Patty. I'm sorry. No, no. It's, it's the WhatsApp teacher. Ah, the WhatsApp. Sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. Don't worry, Patty. I'm teasing you. <laughs> okay, Ronald, if you would like to um, stay that without image and continue working, that will be okay, okay? Don't worry about okay. it. Okay, thanks. And thank you so much for showing your image today. You look so nice. <laughs> Yay, bye. <laughs> All righty. Okay, guys. So we're going to start with the listening part today. Remember that yesterday we had like so audio problems, <laughs> but now no anymore. Okay. Hey, did you practice your song, by the way? No. Don't tell me you haven't practiced your song. <clears throat> no. And I, and I was supposed to be like this. <laughs> All right, tomorrow we're going to see it, okay? So you better practice today. All righty, very good, guys. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me play right now the audio. And uh, this audio will talk about either a movie, either an actor or either an actress. And you need to listen carefully because it's going to describe it in generally. You need to guess who is that person talking about or what movie that person is talking about. Okay, that's what I want. So we're going to listen to, uh, we're going to practice the listening activities for a specific information. Okay, so bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me check, no, this is not the one that I want. There you go, this is the one that I want. Okay, yes, very good. I will share right now my screen, okay? So bear with me. There you go. Tell me if you can listen in, okay? Page 89, exercise eight. You can, can you listen? Yes. Okay, cool. Perspectives. It's about part A. Listen to people talk about some of their Hollywood favorites. Can you guess the actress, actor, or movie each person is describing? One. He's an actor who often plays unusual characters. He's fantastic as the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland and Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Okay, who is he talking about? What is the actor? Johnny Depp. Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alice in the Wanderers, right? And also Mr. Jack Sparrow. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. That, that's easy. Uh, yeah, yeah, right? So she said uh, she's an act he's an actor who, okay, remember. She's using who. I want you to pay attention of the word that they're using to connect the ideas, okay? Who. Okay, let's continue. Two. This action movie came out in 2010 and stars Leonardo DiCaprio as a thief who is able to steal information from people's minds. It's kind of confusing, but the special effects are amazing. Okay, did you understand? Now you need to guess what is the movie that they're talking about. The actor is Leonardo DiCaprio. Exactly, Leonardo DiCaprio. The movie was a in movie 2000. I know. Listen, in 2000 what? 2000. Uh huh. In 2010. 10. Very good. Yeah. Exactly. He played the character of a thief, of a thief, ladron. Yeah. So do you do you know? I remember the movie, but not the name. Oh my God! <laughs> Come on, Alain, you can do it. Watch me if you can. 
is Kontong Ham. Catch, catch me if you can. No. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe that one. It's Kontong Hams. Uh -huh. No, but but this one is with Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, yes, but okay. it's with with Tom, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks suit. Yes, okay, that's it's, good. It's a national picture, but I can remember the name. I, I think Maria Quintana already said it, right? Yes. Catch me if you can. Yes. Yeah, very good. It's a true story. It's a true story. It is a true story. Okay, let's continue. Three. It's a science fiction movie that was directed by James Cameron. It's a beautiful film that takes place on the moon Pandora in the year 2154. It's a story about the clash of cultures and civilizations. Uh-huh. That is a science fiction movie. It's directed by Cameron. Avatar. 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 Cultural civilization. Avatar. Avatar, Avatar, Avatar. Avatar right? Avatar. Yeah. Uh -huh, very good. Oh my goodness, you're so good on that. Woo. Four. Four. She's an actress who is excellent in both dramas and comedies. I loved her in Mamma Mia and The Iron Lady. I haven't seen a lot of her earlier movies though. Okay. She's an actress. Mamma Mia. Uh -huh, plays in Mamma Mia. All right. Oh. Hmm. Uh huh. Meryl uh, Street. Meryl Street. Mary? Yay. Very good. Page 89. Now, guys, I will play it again, but I want you guys to pay attention to what is exactly the word that the person used to describe not, not only the, the, the actor or the actresses, but at the same time to describe a, um, the information about the movie. Okay, I just want you to take a look of the word that used to connect that idea. Okay, and you're going to let me know which word is it. Nine, exercise eight, perspectives. It's about part A. Listen to people talk about some of their Hollywood favorites. Mm -hmm. Can you guess the actress, actor, or movie each person is describing? One. He's an actor who often plays unusual characters. He's fantastic as the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland and Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Okay, what's the word I use to connect the ideas? He says he's an actor. Who? 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 Exactly, who often blah, 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 blah. Okay, very good. Ta think about it, take into the consideration. We have who, okay, let me double check if we can find something else. Two. This action movie came out in 2010 and stars Leonardo DiCaprio as a thief who is able to steal information from people's minds. It's kind of confusing, but the special effects are amazing. Uh, okay, what was the word again? That was really hard, this one, right? <laughs> but actually what was also the same, who? I think this one is a little bit hard because he speaks a little bit faster, right? Yeah, I know. I know. He's, talk, he's talking yeah. about a person, too. Uh-huh. I'm talking about Leonardo DiCaprio's one in 2010. Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Three. It's a science fiction movie that was directed by James Cameron. It's a beautiful film that takes place on the moon Pandora in the year 2154. It's a story about the clash of cultures and civilizations. Okay, what was the word and now what use it? It wasn't used who? By. By. Mm -mm. By. That. That, exactly. That's what I need. Yeah. That. Because right now it's yeah. talking about movie, right? That means it's talking, talking about, about the thing. Exactly, it's talking about the it's things. Thin. Remember that the first two, they're talking about actor and actresses. So they use the word who, okay? Because they're talking about people. Now that they're talking about, about things, space, that. things is that exactly. Let's continue. Four. She's an actress who is excellent in both dramas and comedies. I loved her in Mamma Mia and The Iron Lady. I haven't seen a lot of her earlier movies though. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So guys, this is really who important. Is that? Who and that? Okay. It's yeah, very good. Why? Who and that? Okay, you know what, we're, we're de developing the listening skill, but at the same time, I want you guys to pay attention of the words that we can use 
for example, to join two ideas. Right now we have uh, used who and that. And guess what? You know what is the name in English for those? No. No. Those are called relative clauses. Okay. For example, sometimes we have two ideas. For example, like and, and we would like to join the two ideas to get into one. That is what we use relative clauses. In this case, who for people and that for things. But also we can do something else. Yes, Carlito, don't worry. It's like, oh my God. It's easy, Carlito. Don't worry about it. It, it. it is not complicated at all. Let me show you right now an image so you will understand a little bit much better, okay? But that listening part was to help you introduce in this topic. You already have used that. Yeah? Yeah, so don't worry about it. Hey, Maria. Hi, how are you? Hi, Adeli. Hi, Annie. Hi, Olga. Hi, Fernando. Hi, Danny. Hi, Melvin. Very good. Hello. I haven't said hi to you, so may I apologize. I was concentrated on the listening thing, so may I apologize for that. All righty. Let me pop it up right now on my screen, and then I will show it to you. Woohoo. Okay. Guys, today we're going to learn relative pro uh, classes, but we're going to, uh, to use relative pronouns for people and things. That's what we're going to learn today. And it will be easy peasy queasy. Also, Fernando, you will remember something because I know that you love to play video games. Don't you? Yes, teacher. <laughs> you I love playing video games. I know. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, one of my favorite was Mario Bros. Um, yeah. Mario Bros and Call of Duty. Uh -huh. I was the little mushroom <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. That's a classic one, you know? Okay, so we're going to talk about this right now. Okay? So don't worry about it. Okay, let me show you right now my, my screen, guys. You will see what I'm talking about. Hey, can you see it? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, this is what we have heard right now in the listening activity. Relative classes or relative pronouns for people and things. Guys, when we are talking about people, we're go we can use who, but at the same time, we can use that for people, okay? And we can use which and that for things as well, okay? So this is really important and you can take an audience of that, okay? Remember, that or which for things, and who or that for people. Okay, what are the two um, options? Okay, take a look at this, guys. Uh, Noemi, could you please be so kind to read for me only this part, the one that I'm highlighting right now. Okay. This one. Use who, uh, he's an actor. Okay, very good. Just, this is one sentence or one statement. He's an actor, one idea. Second idea, uh, Adela, can you please read for me this one? He often plays unusual character. Very good, the second idea. He often plays unusual characters. So I have two ideas. How come I going to do, to, you, to join these two ideas and to become one sentence? Because I have two sentences. First sentence, he's an actor. Second sentence, he often plays unusual characters. So the idea here, guys, is that change. I, yeah, change it. But at the same time, I'm not going to repeat he and he twice because it's here. So let's make it one sentence. The first part, he's an actor. You see, he's an actor. Now I'm going to use the relative clause. I can use who or I can use that. So I have it both here. He's an actor who, and then I'm not going to use his, him again, right? Doesn't make sense. I'm going to use the rest of the sentence. Who often plays an unusual characters, or he's an actor that often plays an unusual characters. You see? Is it easy, right? Um, Anita? It's a um, change in the second he for who or what exactly why anita because i have 
in the first in the first place let me take a look on this one so let me scratch it a little bit so i can explain it to you better good okay there you go i okay anita for example in the first one this one let me click, click on it i have he because this is one sentence this one is one sentence i have another he because it's a second sentence so I, he i i have two ideas okay so that's why if you under if you double check on here guys i have he one time and i have he for a second time isn't it i have two his because there are two uh sentences but i don't want two sentences mm -hmm. i want these two sentences to become one sentence so that is where we're going to use the relative clauses okay mm -hmm. i'm going to use that so he and he only one he right because i'm not going to repeat he and he twice if i want to do one sentence so i put he his in this case or his right his an unusual character okay and often plays unusual characters so he said he's an uh, he's an actor who often plays unusual characters or he's an actor that often plays unusual characters now do you understand guys excuse me this is speak spanish of I course go ahead go ahead play. of course cuando voy a saber eh, usar who o usar that puede usarlo de eh, como usted ve aquí en el ejemplo está aquí los dos porque puede ser cualquiera de los dos y cualquiera de los dos que escriba va a estar correctamente bueno escrito. exacto exacto hey qué tal español les parece mi español estoy mejorando un poco no nadie me felicita qué barbaridad okay very good thank you Anita thank you Anita Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Estamos bien, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad que es fácil? Nadie me dice nada. Sí, yes. easy, 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 in this particular sentence, I'm talking about a, a movie. Alain, can you please read for me the first, the first big sentence? It's a movie. It's a movie. Wow, that's that's a whole <laughs> paragraph, man. Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah. It's okay. very hard. <laughs> it's very hard to read. Yeah, I know. Okay, can you please read for me the second sentence, uh, Alain? It's Star Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. Now, guys, if you if you see this sentence, these two ideas, uh, we, we're talking about a movie. And in that movie, the star is Leonardo DiCaprio. But in this case, uh, what is the main focus? Is main focus Leonardo DiCaprio or is the main focus is the movie? Is the movie. Is the, the movie. movie. Exactly. So I can use either which or that to join these two ideas and to become one sentence. So I can use, it's a movie, which or that stars Leonardo DiCaprio. So in this case, you see, I have it here, one, and I have it twice, but I'm going to use it only one time, right? Did you understand this one? Yes, right? Yes. Easy, 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 Anita. Yes, it's okay. equal on the first exercise. Exactly. This is easy peasy queasy. Okay, let's put it in practice, use guys. Or, or, use, or that. Use that. Exactly. So just remember, for people, who or that. And for things, which or that. Depends, okay? What is the difference, uh, the which or that? It, well, for if you translate it in Spanish, it's a movie which stars Leonardo DiCaprio. En la cual. Yeah. Y en la otra, ¿qué? So that depends. Es, es lo mismo. Solo que en este caso estamos usando los relative clauses como pronouns. ¿Sí? Relative pronouns, ahorita. Very good. Hoy viene lo parte interesante.
que es lo que a mi querido <ríe> um, <coughs> Fernando le gusta. Right, Fernando? Yes, teacher. <ríe> ok, exactly. Este es um, poder hablar de muñequitos. Ok, déjame ver. Mira qué bonito. Vaya, chiquillos, vamos a hacer un ejemplo, una exercise, verbal exercise, ¿sí? Verbal exercise, okay. vamos a quitar esto de acá. A Fernando le voy a dejar el primero, porque él es fan número uno de eh, Mr. Mario Bros. A, hágame un favor, uh, Fernando, ¿puede leerme la primera sentence? Ok. Super Mario Galaxy Two. is a video game. Ah, no, no, mire ah, que... Super Mario Galaxy, ok. Mm -hmm. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a video game. That's one sentence. It's found... Mm -hmm. Ok. Continue. It's found for all, all age. All ages. All ages. Yes. All ages. Ok, very good. I have two ideas here, ¿sí? Primero, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a video game. Eso es una idea. It's, ¿por qué? It's porque estamos hablando de Super Mario game, ¿sí? Ahorita estoy usándolo, en vez de decir Super Mario Game otra vez, ocupo el It's, ¿sí? Que es el pronombre que sustituye a Super Mario Game. It's fun for all ages. Es muy divertido para todas las edades. Ok, guys, in this sentence, bueno, en este caso, Fernando, in this sentence, what is the main idea? Que es fun para todas las personas, o yo estoy hablando directamente de Super Mario Galaxy 2. Ajá. Quiero unir esas dos ideas eh, en una. ¿Cuál voy a usar? Who, that, or which, and, or that. ¿Cuál crees tú? Eh, I think the, the who Super Mario Galaxy 2 for who? the is a... Is a um, no, teacher. Is a, no, no. Is, ah. is, a, is a wish for the... For the eh, for uh -huh. who is, is, is for the people y, uh -huh. y is, is for them. But very good. Entonces, si es which or that, ¿cómo, ¿cómo me unirías esas dos ideas? Ten en cuenta que no me vas a decir it. Ok. Porque okay, it es lo que es, que es como que estuviéramos diciendo Super Mario Galaxy 2 otra vez. Entonces, okay. úneme dos ideas, pero hazme un favor. Quítame. No me vayas a usar esto. Te voy a dar una ayudadita. Ok. ¿Cómo dirías entonces esta oración en una idea? Dilo. Eh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a video game which is fun for all ages. Very good. Which is fun. Podrías decir, which is fun for all ages. Very good. Excellent. Give me don't five, sir. Excellent job. Okay. Very, very good. Ok. Next. Noemi, that's your turn. Number two. Okay. Judy Foster is an actress mm -hmm. who began her career at age three. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Only one thing, Noemi. Uh -huh. We need a... We're going to improve our pronunciation of this one. At age. Ara. Ah, ara. At age, ara. at age, at age. At age, at age. Career at age three. Three or three? Three. Okay, very good. One three. more time. Read it for me one more time the sentence. All. All, All the sentences. Yes. Judy Foster is an actress who began her career at, at age uh, three. Again. <laughs> Without stopping. Go ahead. One more time. Judy Foster is an actress who began her career at age three. Very good. Phew. Very good. Very good. Excellent job. Very good, Noemi. Let me check one. Okay. This one. <clears throat> Olguita, you want to try number three? Oof. Oof. Okay. Ben Affleck. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Ben Affleck is an actor. He is also a director. A director. Very good. Okay. A that, director. That is the two okay. ideas. Now join the, the two ideas into one. Ben Affleck is an actor who also, who 
Yes. Who, who also, also a director. Uh -huh. Who also is a director. Also director. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Patty, it's your turn. Patty, number four. The Lorax. Okay, The Lorax is a film. It's what's adapted from a children's book. Uh-huh. Now, join the two ideas into one. Are you going to use which, that, or who? Um, that. Okay, that, go ahead, go ahead. That. Okay, The Lorax is a film that was adapted from a children's book. Very good, excellent job. Give me the far, girl. Woohoo! <laughs> Amazing! Yay! Awesome. Very good. Number five. Let me check. Danny, number five. Okay. Jaden Smith is an actor who's the son of Will Smith. Very good. Excellent job. Number six, uh, Melvin. Hello. Hello. Dan Brown writes books. Um, who uh, um, Dan mm. Brown writes book? They are they hard to put down. They're hard to put down. Okay, yeah. Hey, you see, this is tricky because okay. this is stars with the person who actually writes the book. But you okay. need to you need to get the idea in the second sentence that the idea is we're talking thing. about it's the book. Theme, or think we're talking about him. The book. Okay, exactly the books. Exactly. Very good. Okay, Dan Brown write, writes books that hard to put down. Yeah, that are hard to put down. Exactly. Very good. Very good. That was tricky, right? Very good job. Excellent. Uh, let me check. Uh, 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 uh. Alain, it's your turn. Number seven, please. Okay, teacher. Wicked is a Broadway musical. It's been very successful. Mm hmm. Okay. Wicked is a Broadway musical that has been very successful. Very good. That's been. That's been very successful. Excellent. And the last one, let me double check who's going to help me. Jose, would you like to talk about Beyonce? Thank you, teacher. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Go ahead. Beyonce is a singer. She's acted in several things. Uh huh. Beyonce is a singer who is active in several films. Okay, very good. Excellent, Beyonce. Remember, that's Beyonce. Very good. Excellent, guys. Not too bad. Okay, now, guys, this is going to be a little bit harder because this part, it could be like easy peasy queasy because they already gave it to you, the two ideas. And all that you got to do is to use either who, which, or that. But in this part, you're going to have only the first idea. And you need to think about whether you use who, that, or, or which, plus the second idea. Okay? So this one is going to be a little bit harder. You see? This one is harder. Cameron Diaz is an actress. Who wants to do it? Helen Mercedes, go ahead. Okay, okay, Helen. Cameron who, Diaz is an actress, okay? Who? Who plays the, the Swedish thing movie? Very good, excellent. <laughs> okay, Danny, Justin Bieber is a singer. Justin Bieber is a singer who all the girls love. Oh, including me. Oh, I know. Including me. <laughs> Excellent. Great job. I don't know. Mm, I don't think I think so because for the tone of boy that you use, uh, all the girls love. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Uh, who's going to help me here? Let me check. Carlitos, The Simpsons. It's a TV show. Uh, the Sin Songs is a TV show that was created for all family. Very good. Okay. But I don't like it. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. And uh, Ronald, you want to participate? Are you able to? 
No, I think Ronald is not able. He's still working. Um, Fernando, Toy Story 3. <laughs> Sorry, but you're the uh, youngest toy, one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, toy Story 3 is a movie which the kids are having fun. Yay, very good. <laughs> Hey guys, you have done a really tremendous job. I like it. Toy Story. Yay. I, I, my husband loved Toy Story. I don't. I don't know why. I don't like Toy Stories. Yeah, I love cartoons, right? Remember that I told you that? But I, I don't know. Toy Story. I don't know. I wouldn't. I had never. I never like it. I can see it, but this is not one of my favorite movies. So, but I can watch it. But my husband loves the saga, the complete saga. Yes. <laughs> Do you like it, Melvin? Yes, my kids love it. Really? Especially yes. the cowboy and the cowgirl? Yes, because they are uh, growing with these uh, different oh, movies. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. If you like it, that's okay. No problem. Very good. Excellent. Hey, maybe you can watch Toy Story this weekend, right? Why not? That will be good. Okay, now guys, I will give you um, two minutes, and I want you guys to uh, to write for me three sentences. I know will be yes, three sentences. One with who, one with that, and one with which. Okay, you can do it individually, and I will come back to you. Okay, so I will give you time. Okay, you can start working okay. right now. I will give you two minutes, and then we're going to share everything. Okay, finish? Cool. No? Don't okay, worry. One minute more, please. Not yet. One, one minute more. One more minute. <laughs> See, that's easy. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. Very good. Don't worry. I'm a nice teacher. Don't worry. Okay. I told you two minutes and they already gave you three minutes. Excuse me. How, yes, do say How do you say bolso in English? Bag. No. Bolso. Yeah. Purse. Oh, exactly, Noemi. Purse. I will write it right now. Purse. Bag, guys, is a bag de los compras, right? Mm -hmm. Pero de, de bolso de chica is purse. Uh, do you spell me, please? Ahí te lo escribí en el chat. 
Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's P as in Peter, U as in unicorn, R like in Romeo, S as in Sierra, and E as in elephant. ¿Sí? Te lo repito, Anita. Thank you. Yeah, you got it? Thank you. Cool. Hey, guys, we need to practice the alphabet, by the way. But we need to process in a military way, okay? We're going to practice military way later on. And it's really important. Because, for example, when you are giving your email address, for example, to somebody, or when you're spelling your name or your last name, it's really important to use the um, military alphabet because there is, like, uh, information that everybody knows. Okay? So we're going to start using for now on. Okay, cool. Time is over. Give me what you have, Alain. Go ahead. I'm all, I always the first one, yes. Okay, teacher. Eight Mile is a song by... Better teacher. Nope. No, eight, eight, eight Mile is a song by Eminem, by Eminem that won a music award last year. Oh, oh very good. Not too bad. Second one. Okay, Eight Mile... It's okay. a song by Eminem that won a music award last year. Ah, you wrote only one sentence. Okay, that's okay. Oh, yeah, one sentence. <laughs> okay, that's cool. It's okay. Very, very good job. Excellent. Jose Ramirez, it's your time. Go ahead, sir. Okay, I, I think I only have two, uh -oh. two sentences. Don't worry. Do your best. Sh share yeah. with us your knowledge. The first is uh, Schumacher is... Uh, a race driver yeah. who won a lot of prizes. Mm -hmm. I remember him, yes. And the next is Chucky is a movie uh, which is very terrified. I <laughs> hate it. I don't like horror movies. Okay, very it's, good it's example. <laughs> very good grammar example, but I don't like that example that you gave. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Very good, Jose. Very good job. Maria Quintanilla is your turn to speak, girl. Oh, one minute? Okay, don't worry. You're like... Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm ready. Right. You're ready. I'm You're very good. I'm ready, yes. Um, uh, the Schindler List uh -huh. is a movie that real life film. Yes. Uh, yeah, it is. It's really sad, but it is. Go ahead. Shakira is it a singer who is a famous in america very good you can like dance like hips don't lie right <laughs> <laughs> excellent very good okay pablo picasso is a famous painter which paint mona lisa exactly very good excellent job mm -hmm. which pain which pain mona lisa uh -huh. Are you not? talking about the Mona Lisa? You're talking about uh, Mr. Picasso? No, the Mona Lisa. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Are you sure? Because you said, uh, okay, which pain? Uh huh. Read it again. Read it again. Um, Picasso is a famous painter. Uh huh. Which paint Mona Lisa? Uh huh. So in that in that that idea, are you talking about the Mona Lisa or you're talking about Picasso who play, who painted the Mona Lisa? Yes, Picasso painted. Uh -huh. Paint who? who? Paint. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Okay. Exactly, very good. That was a really good, but that's okay. Very good job. Great try. Excellent. And uh, who else? Patty, you want to try? Oh, bueno, ok, ok. Este, no sé si entendí, teacher. Do your best. Mi ejemplo, ok. Of course. Eh, ok. Jimena Duque is, a, is an actress. Eh, who is influencer, recognized and enterprising for the people Latins. Ok, for the Latin people. All Latin people. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Very good. Anita Rosales. Very can good. I, can I to try? Yeah, of course you can. Go ahead, girl. 
Ok, este... Messi is a deportive who plays for the Barcelona. Yay! Very good job! Excellent! I don't know if there is somebody else who is like Real Madrid, right? But this is an example. This is an example. Very good! Very good, Anita. You broke my heart. Excellent! You Only only one example you have or you have more? Uh, more. Okay. Este. Uh -huh. the, dog, the dog are an animal that many people like. That many okay. people like. Very good. Excellent. Very good job. And one more example. Carlitos. Now it's your turn to speak. Only one sentence, please, Carlitos. Um, the, the manager from financial department mm -hmm. who can help to approve the budget. Okay, it's the one. Yeah, yeah. the manager from the voucher department, you said better. Right? Fin financial, financial department. department financial department. Is, you can say it, is the one who can help okay. approve. Very good, excellent job. Adela, you have an example? Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. She said she's not going to ask me now. The, the Fox Man is a movie who a star is Anthony Hawking. Oh, very good. <laughs> the Flash is a series that is interest for the family. Uh-huh. Y Barbara, uh, no, perdón. A Woman in Love is a song whose singer is Barbara Streisand. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I think Miss Adele is so inspired today. Ooh, excellent. Very good job. I don't know, okay. Mercy, Carolina, you want to try? Volguita or Dani? I want to say my sentence. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, lawyer, but you know what? Since you are so busy, I said, I'm going to skip this, man. Okay, but if you're ready, go for it. The SNR is all yours, sir. My sentence is the best because oh, I ah. get that everybody will be agreed with me. Okay, you gotta give a try. My English teacher is very cool, who teach with love and devotion. You're going to make me cry. Except for oh, one you. thing that you will almost give me a heart attack. <laughs> Grammar heart attack, because you said my English teacher is cool. Who, you said who teach? <laughs> Is it yeah. okay or teaches? Uh, teaches. Uh -huh. Because yeah. you're talking about third person. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you make me you made me cry. You see? This is crying. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ronald. All righty, very good. Hey guys, by the way, take a look at me at my picture here. Excellent. So you see, guys, it's really easy, right? To use relative pronouns, right? to join the two ideas. We have practiced a lot. Now guys, is this really, let's talk about something else that is really part of our class today as well. And can you see this? This is a smiling face, right? What about this? Uh-huh, uh -huh. hey, do you remember? Just like, oh, all right, guys, for example, uh, yeah, Latin people, but in this case, teachers, for example, or myself, I'm a person who does a lot of facial expressions, like, oh, like, you see, right, yeah, but guys, is this, is this easy? to express ourselves or to show empathy because we can see face to face, right? But a, when we send a message to somebody through the WhatsApp, to the Facebook, to the Twitter, to the messenger, we use a lot of emotion icons, right? Remember? Yeah, emotion icons. There's a lot of emotion icons. Emoticones, exactly, very good. But in this case, um, we call it uh, popular emoticons. Okay, exactly. For example, guys, uh, let me ask you something. If you're sleeping, what will be the emoticon that you're going to use? <laughs> it's really interesting, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what? What am I going to do? Oh, 
tell me something. Uh, do people in your country use as emoticons, guys? Yeah. 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 yeah? All the time. Yeah. All the time. Do you? Do you use it? Do you? Yes. Yeah. So, Every no, time I, that you send a no. message or what? No. Yes. <laughs> and why do you use it? Uh huh. I, why do you use emoticons to 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 express what? Space happy. Exactly. Let me show you something because I think most of these emoticons oh, you have used it. Let me double check. Let me share right now on my screen. There you go. <laughs> you will love this one. And I think Fernando also uses. Can you see it, guys? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes, this, yes. this one is the most popular, right? The happy. I'm happy. What about this one? I'm sad. Hey, have, do you know the one for angry? No? Angry. You see? You see? Uh, yeah. Hey, you're, you're learning something new. What about just kidding? That's funny. Uh -huh. That was scary, you see? I can't talk about it. Look at it, with an X in your mouth. Really? That can be right. Surprising, right? The one that I show you right now. I'm sleeping. Yeah, you, you, now you know how to write it. As a Matican, I'm a sleepy. That was delicious. You see, like, this one is like the number nine, right? <laughs> that it shows your tongue. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a terrible cold. Or I don't know what to say. I'm so bored. <laughs> Do me a favor, guys. What other emoticons you use to communicate the, these ideas? Only these ones? Or you have another emoticons to communicate the same ideas? All different ideas? Um, this emoticon is... <laughs> pictures uh -huh. and other in the symbols, this emoticon and symbols. Mm -hmm. Very good, exactly. Uh, what other emoticons do you know, guys, besides the ones that we are showing right now? Bears. Applause. 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 How you're going to send applause? Oh, the, the two hands, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And okay. Tom, it's okay. Mm -hmm. like. <laughs> Alrighty, very good. Awesome. Now, now guys, uh, this is really important to show expressions and feelings, but do me a favor. Uh, I want you guys to look at this man right now and do me a favor. What is this man doing in each picture? Let me show it to you. Maybe nervous. For example, you, you have the picture here, one, two, three, four, five, and you got the possible answers here on the left side. He's biting his nail, he's rolling his eyes, he's scratching his head, etc. So in the letter A, what is he doing? Just striggling his hair. Striggling his hair. Striggling. Yeah, striggling. Very good. Como haciéndose colochitos, right? Stringly his hair. Guys, eh, yo no sé ustedes, I don't know you. Let me go back to you. I don't know you, but when you are nervous, sometimes I'm, I'm doing this on my hair. Or when you I are know. thinking about something like this, right? I know you. Yeah, yeah like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, you don't do it? Eso, yo tengo una maña. My sister is like that. No, in my case, it's like this. And my sister is like this, like this, yeah. And when she does that, I, I think she's uh, stressed about something or she's thinking. But you know what happened? Once I look at front of her, her head, forehead, and I said, hey, I think this part of your head is a little bit bold without hair because she was doing like this. Entonces se quitó un par de pelitos. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Very good. Yes, Anita. Go ahead, Anita. Anita, you're raising your hand. No, Ani? No? Okay. Creo que te lo quedaste ahí de default. Very good. Okay, guys. Now, let's go back to the image once again. Mm -hmm. What about number two? What is he doing? He's scratching his head. 
number no, 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 Letter B. Wrinkling his nose. Letter B. Wrinkling letter, his nose. Letter six. Yay. What about letter C? Letter C. Letter C is question. Uh -huh. Letter C is? Is. His two. Rolling his, his, rolling his, his, rolling his rolling. eyes. What about letter D? Um, number one. He's biting his nails. He's okay. biting his, his nails. He's biting, nails. biting. He's biting his nails. He's uh -huh. biting his nails. And letter E? He, he's tapping his foot. Well, he's tapping, tapping his foot. He's tapping his foot. Tapping his foot. Okay, guys, so do me a favor. Do Take a, a look at the picture once again. Oh, and letter F, guys, sorry. Mm. And letter F? He's scratching his head. Uh -huh. Brushing his hair. Brushing his hair. Uh, exactly. So do me a favor. Take a look at the images right now. And you have here uh, below on section B, you have um, the possible feelings, right? You have adjectives that describe the feelings of the person. We have annoyed, bored, confused, disgust, embarrassed, exhausted, frustrated, impatient, irritated, and nervous. So do me a favor. Uh, for example, in letter A, what is his feeling in letter A? What do you think, guys? Nervous. 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 Or confused. Confused. Uh, could be confused. Yeah. What about letter B? Frustrated to me. Yeah. What about letter B? What do you think, guys? Disgusted. Disgusted. Very good. Letter C? Confused. Confused. Confused? Confused. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, what, a, what about letter D? Nervous. 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 Confusion. 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 Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I want you guys to do me a sentence like this. For example, in the first picture, he's strictly his hair. He looks nervous. Okay. So I want you to do it like that. What about letter B? Letter B? He's wrinkling his, his? nose. His nose. He no. looks. Oh, he looks what? Disgusted. Okay. Yeah. What about letter C? He's rolling his his eyes. He looks confused. 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 Okay. Letter D. He's biting his nails. He looks. Nervous. 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 Okay. Nervous. Uh, letter E. He is stopping his food. He looks impatient. 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 Very good. Letter F. He's what? He's scratching his head. He looks confused. 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 Very good, guys. Let's practice right now some pronunciation. Okay. Repeat after me. Beating. 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 Rolling. 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 Scratching. Scratching. Tapping. 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 Twirling. Twirling. Wrinkling. Wrinkling. Okay, very good. Now, guys, let's practice. Okay, you're going to let me know what I'm doing, and then you'll need to let me know that my feeling, okay? What am I doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. Disgust. No, yeah, no, my feeling, no, my feeling. The action. What am I doing with my nose? Disgust. I'm wrinkling. Uh, wrinkling your nose. nose. What about this? Mm. Rolling your eyes. Rolling your eyes. Uh huh. What about this? Rolling your eyes. Scramble your hair. Uh huh. Your Let eyes. Me. What about this? Mm -hmm. Biting, the, biting, the biting his nails. Biting his nails? Nails. 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 Nails.
Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm a girl. Where you see I'm wearing earrings, <laughs> ponytail, makeup. So I'm a girl. Come on. Okay. So uh, what am I doing? Rolling my hair, right? What about this one? Beauty. 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 And I'm doing like this. Tapping your foot. Tapping, tapping the tapping her foot. Her foot. Good, very tapping good. Her foot. Exactly. Why we are taking that? You know why we are talking about feelings and gestures and emotions and everything? Yeah. No idea. Hmm. Oh. Well. Oh. Uh huh. Tomorrow we're going to talk about something else, another gestures. Uh, question? Crazy. Uh, um, lunatic. Oh, no, crazy. Lunatic. Crazy. Uh, What's that? I don't know. Escape? Escapa. A woman. I use, um, A woman, right? Then... Uh -huh. say, a man language. sign language sign language sign language this is crazy crazy and this is weird weird weird, weird. what that mean weird raro weird ah. uh, weird and this is strange <laughs> no no cuckoo is with two no cuckoo is with three Three. With three, ah. you're cuckoo. With one, you're crazy. And this one is weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to learn a lot. And this one, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And applause. Yes. Yeah, right? Okay. Very good. Yeah, plus. And this one? What? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. I, don't know. I don't know. Exactly. Very good. Okay. But we'll continue with these topics tomorrow. Okay. Don't worry. We're almost. Hey, we're almost done, guys. I think the last week is the last week. Ah, okay. The last week. Yeah. Is the last one the next one? I think so. But I'm going to double check. Okay. What? And everybody's like, <laughs> yeah, time passed really fast. This is <laughs> the next week. I think so. I don't. I, I'm not sure. I think so. And I'm going to double check. Okay, don't worry about it. I don't think so. You don't think so? We're still waiting two more weeks. Maybe yes, two more two weeks. weeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Time passes really fast. Oh. I think only one. This. You think only one, Jose? Okay. I, I will find out and I will let you know. Okay. Hey, what? How are you doing with the platform? By the way, is everything okay? You still have problems, Anita, Mercedes? Problems. Uh, Yes, Bati? Um, problem what? Uh, with the platform, with the platform exercises. Um, the exercise and the explicación. Explanation, yeah. No good. No good. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Why? What happened? Or oh, you don't read uh, correctly. Mm -hmm. um, auxiliary. I... ¿Cómo decir me auxiliaron? Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Um, the complete this. To complete. Uh, the exercise. To complete. To complete I, the exercise. As I did is uh, write the complete. Um, and is I think the complete. I know it is um pass uh, no to work so. only work ah you okay so you, you, you thought that it was the whole sentence but they were asking you only for the one part of the sentence okay yeah 
but don't worry you can ask me i'm not going to um thank you guy for you because you work as a team that is a teamwork right a team spirit which is basically very good if we, if i'm not able to answer you right away and in this case anita needs help somebody help her so which is really good uh, but you can ask me that's okay that will be not uh, not a problem I, i won't be able to answer you right away because i'm uh, a little bit busy right I, i'm working right now on some claims for my other job but uh, i can help you definitely okay any questions i will be more than glad to give you a hand just give me some time okay and i will i will answer you between 10 or 15 minutes thank you you're welcome terminamos Mañana es la última clase. Mañana, mañana tendríamos que tener. No, pues sí, es que eso fue lo que yo entendí. Mañana. Que mañana era la última clase. No, no, no. no. Por la próxima sí, semana. Sí, no, ah. no, no me ajolote, por favor. No me ajolote. Ya es el boroto de dinero. Sí, qué barbaridad. No, no, güey. It would be. Oh, yeah. Oh, Agarró oh. fuego el cañón. Ya, yeah, casi me da un ataque. Ok. Ok, es guys. El próximo jueves. No, espérese, todavía falta, no se me emocione. No, es con respecto a lo de la plataforma. Disculpe que les estoy hablando en español, pero ahorita ya me, ya me crucé. Ya me es di que cuenta. Nos mandaron un, un mensaje de que estábamos atrasados con la plataforma. Uh -huh. Entonces, en ese momento, según lo que yo traducí. ¿Traduje? Uh -huh. Es que mañana era la última clase. Pero es la última clase de la semana. Oh, yes, of course, de la semana. No se me vaya a confundir, por favor. Ok, y lo otro es hasta qué día tenemos para terminar la plataforma. Oh, ok. Eh, um, déjenme consultarle a, a las personas y con gusto le, le, le decimos, ok. Porque eh, yo ahorita, pues, de por lo del mensaje que nos mandaron de que estábamos atrasados porque algunos no habíamos llenado la plataforma, uh -huh. eh, ¿cómo es que se llama? Yo dije, o sea, como terminamos la otra semana, entonces despacio para ir eh, leyendo despacito para poder hacerlo yo solita y no pedir ayuda, yo dije, tengo tiempo de terminarla. Pero ahorita sí, con eso sí, que dije que oh, mañana. No, 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 no se preocupe. Igual, Anita, usted me puede escribir, ¿ya? Yo quisiera seguir con ustedes, pero ahorita tengo ahorita la otra clase que sí, me sí, están sí. diciendo, teacher, ¿y usted qué onda? Entonces, ahorita, ahorita voy, ¿ok? No se preocupe, me escriben y con mucho gusto yo les contesto, ¿ok? Un beso y un abrazo. Cuídense mucho, Thank chiquillos. Bye-bye.